Welcome to Thursday of the next, what is this, week, week three? Yeah, yeah. anyway, uh, a wonderful thing just happened as we were reviewing. So let me use someone's work to point out this detail. This problem is done correctly as far as the numbers and the answer, but how it is written is a good thing to talk about. So we're wanting to find the area of this house shaped thing. There's two parts. There's a up top triangle roof that I'm making blue. And then there is a down below rectangle part that I am making green. Everyone with me so far? Mm -hmm. So I will write out that the area of the house, I like subscripts. I don't care how you write this, but when you're doing this kind of problem, it's nice to have one line you write first that has no numbers at all. I'm just saying I have a plan in my head of how the shapes go together. Everyone okay with that? Yep. If you skip that, then you might just wind up adding or subtracting the wrong things, right? If it's like the bites taken out of the pizza or something like that. So make just a plan that has no words or letters at all. Just I know what I'm doing. Then my next step will be to replace them with their formulas. So for a triangle, it's base times height divided by two. We talked about that last time half of the rectangle that fills up that space. And then for the rectangle, then it's length times width. By the way, why do I make my L in cursive? Because once in my life, I made it as a, like an L that looked like a one, and I plugged a one in instead of making it the number it should be, and I got my problem wrong, and I was sad, so now I use cursive. Then for my third step, I will plug in the numbers. So what is the base of this? That was nine, height is five. Whoops, I wrote a plus, no one shouted and corrected me. It should be a plus in the middle. And then length times width, 13 times nine. We talked about terms earlier. Notice that each shape is its own term. It's a bunch of stuff, and there's a plus or minus not in parentheses that connects these two parts. Right? They are separate things. It doesn't matter how steep the triangle is when I'm finding the rectangle. It doesn't matter how tall the rectangle is when I'm just finding the triangle. So you can see this idea that these are independent terms and I can work on them separately. In any case, let's actually find the answer. Nine times five is 45. Divide by two is 22.5. 13 times nine is 117. And we add them together and get 139.5, just like up above. We don't have a unit. It doesn't say feet or yards or meters or whatever. So I'm just going to say square units. If you left it off, that would be forgivable. Okay, everyone with me so far? In contrast, what happened with the student scratch paper is they started by writing, okay, I'm gonna use a, let's do that. Can that cover up that? Oh yes, beautiful, okay. They started by writing this amount. Nine times five is 45. Ta-da, perfect, right? And then they wanted to keep going. 45 divided by two is 22.5, which is also a true thing. But by using equal signs in both places, now we are saying that three things are equal 
when they're not, because nine times five isn't 22.5. So officially, the way we should do this is to write more than one line. Start out by doing the five times nine equals 45. And then you could write 45 divided by two or then divided by two or maybe you like a double arrow. Now, whatever your little system is, that's not an equal sign because an equal sign means I'm connecting things that are equal. And the whole sentence up above with three parts kind of switches what we're talking about halfway through. So at this level of math, it's not going to mess you up. This student got the same answer we did below, everything was fine. But for building good habits for the future, because things will get more complicated by the time we get to the GED, then have each line be a true thing, have equal signs, only connect things that are really true or are part of some process that's happening. Similarly, down below, 13 times nine is 117. Perfect, nothing wrong there at all. That is completely true and written wonderfully. But when the student kept going and then plus the 22.5 adding on the area of the roof, now we have 13 times nine is something that's not 13 times nine. So again, this should have been its own line. Either have 117 plus 22.5, or then add 22.5, or double arrow, or whatever works for you. So equal signs only connect things that are really equal. Otherwise, when you get to algebra, you will have sadness that is avoidable. So, ta da! Good, interesting problem. Uh, to repeat, if I was doing this, I like personally having one line with no words or letters, just my plan, one line with the formulas, and then plug everything in, and then the calculator does all the work. Ta-da! Okay, stop the